Today, we have a little bit of a different video and talking about cultural differences. Those are the eight differences I had in my mind right now. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump in. So number one is that people post on social media when it's their birthday, which is weird for me as a German because we don't do that. Maybe like Facebook reminds us when we're lucky and the other person has its, um, its date. Uh, saved in Facebook but otherwise you just have to know you have to have the date in the calendar or like, you, know, you have to make an excuse why you forgot or whatever but here in Rwanda people just tell you hey it's my birthday and then everyone's like oh happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday so yeah I don't know just different um, the second one is kind of something that happened to me it's just Diego means yes and Oya I hope I say that kind of correct oh yeah means no but in german ja means yes so a lot of the times i'm just saying oh yeah but i mean it's not completely the same people told me okay they understand that i don't say oh yeah because i say oh yeah so but still sometimes i feel like i'm like oh yeah and pe sometimes people were like why you say no and i was like oh shit I meant yes. So yeah, that's that's a little bit confusing sometimes, but I get used to it. Cultural difference number three is that people, when they listen to you, I think in Germany, most of the time it would be more like, mm-hmm, 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 something like that, you know? But the noise people here make when they listen is like, mm, mm, mm. And I got so confused at first because, um, I talked to Michael McKembe, my friend and the producer. I wanted to explain him the concept of how I want this song to feel and whatever, and showed him the video clip I had prepared, and he was just, hmm, hmm. And I asked him in the end, like, did you understand anything from what I said? He was like, yeah, 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 perfectly fine. So, um, yeah, I just got confused because I wasn't sure if people listened to me, but now I know, so it's fine. And now I actually adapted it and also say like, mm, mm, when people talk to me and I'm just listening, so that's funny. So cultural difference number four is people are slow at the supermarket. I mean, the cashier. In Germany, I'm like always kind of a little bit stressed. People like also coming from the US, they're always like, oh, you're stressed in Germany when you go shopping. It's true. They're like, beep, 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 beep. You just like pack your stuff as fast as possible. So. Um, here it's definitely slower, but sometimes for me, because I'm used to like, oh, there are three people in front of me, okay, I have to wait like two, three minutes here. Sometimes it's like, I don't know, double the amount of time. Maybe it just feels as long, but yeah, definitely a different for me. So one thing which is, which is quite interesting, I have maybe a few examples for you. Um, I only knew it from like Chinese or Japanese persons that they have like problems with the L and the R. And here sometimes also people say an R instead of the L, which sometimes can lead to confusion because a lot of words just have a complete different meaning. Either you say an R or an L. For example, when you say I want to play whatever, a card game, and they say a prey sometimes. Some people are better with that and they can really pronounce the L perfectly fine, but some people which aren't that used to speaking English or a different language than Kinyawanda, their home language, they tend to say R, like prey or prey, prey. I can't even do it like properly. For me, it led to like a lot of confusion in the beginning because for play and pray, when you say, I want to pray a card game, I mean, you understand that he meant play. But in other situations, it really makes sense both ways. And then you're like completely confused and you have to think about like, oh yeah, they sometimes switch. So they probably meant that. And here, by the way, is an example from a guy who uh, did a translation for us for the documentary. In the translation, he wrote an R instead of an L. So that was funny, I thought. Cultural difference number six is cold beer. 
cold beer is nice everyone likes cold beer i think i guess i guess before i came here because here people ask you if you want to have your beer cold or warm i'm like eh. so i never experienced someone here ordering a warm beer so i don't know why they ask all the time why they don't just bring you a cold one but sometimes also you want to order a cold one and they say oh yeah we just put them in the fridge so you're gonna warm one anyways but in germany this would never happen you always get a cold beer i guess nobody wants the warm beer so they don't even bother asking point number seven is when it rains you can't go anywhere i mean in germany it rains okay then get like i don't know an umbrella whatever go to the bus station and then you can go anywhere it's a bus you don't care about the rain here even though there is a rain season and I don't know how they do it then but for example yesterday I was stuck for half an hour at a petrol station because we were just waiting for the rain to stop. As soon as it starts to rain all the motos drive somewhere they know all the places where they can hide and the people who drive with them also have to go with them right and then you just wait until the rain stops sometimes a long time and then they continue driving after it stops but when it doesn't stop for an hour. Since cabs are way more expensive than motos, you just wait for the rain to stop. So the last one is that Rwanda is actually the sixth safest travel country for solo travelers. And I have to say, I always felt super safe here. Even walking in an area I didn't know and it was dark, like there were no street lights, it was like a dirt road somewhere in the neighborhood there. I don't care, like people are always friendly. Um, they told me try to do that in Uganda or Congo and you don't want to do that probably. Um, but here in Rwanda, it's a very, very safe country, very nice people. And I really enjoyed my stay here and I really, encourage everyone to come here and experience it by yourself because right now there's not a lot of tourism it's like i feel like it's like thailand 20 30 years ago you know now a lot of tourism and a lot of people know it here it's still a little bit more pure it's like there's a little bit of tourism but it's not overcrowded at all when you go somewhere you're kind of alone but they have this like visit randa um thing and they start to build more like tourism they recently brought some rhinos to the national park so you can have a proper safari here uh they were gone because of like poaching in the 90s so yeah they tried to rebuild the whole park and there will also be an episode about that so thank you for watching see you in the next one